Hi, and thank you for joining me for this video about how to create icons. Actually, in this specific video, I will show you how to customize the ribbon in PowerPoint 2010 so you have the right tools you need in order to create icons. So let's go ahead and switch to PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint 2010, as in any other application in Office 2010, you can customize the ribbon right here on top. To customize it, I'll go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and you can see here on the right the places on the ribbon that I can customize. I'll go ahead to the Home tab and create a new group. I will rename this group and call it Shape Merge, which is, for my purposes, the name that represents the commands I'm interested in, but feel free to give it any kind of name you'd like. On the left, you choose the commands that you put into the ribbon. So rather than popular commands up here on top, I'll choose commands not in the ribbon because the set of tools I'm interested in by default is not in the ribbon. I'll scroll down all the way to S to shape and I'll add shape subtract, shape union, and shape intersect. You can move these around, decide exactly where you want it in the ribbon. I'll just place it here, hit OK and you can see that my ribbon has been customized and now it includes the shape merge and the commands that I've put in here. So with that I invite you to um, hop on to the next video to see how easy it is to create icons in PowerPoint 2010.